All right, there's some exciting news coming out of Tesla and I did a story about it yesterday uh, that the, uh, the, uh, the president of uh, automotive uh, sent an email to employees which totally looked like a press release but I get it how they leave stuff out um, saying that there's some surprises coming up for, uh, uh, for the Tesla factory in Fremont and you know, I, 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 since he wasn't really I think speaking to the employees it wasn't a surprise for the employees it was more surprise for me Maybe investors and consumers but it looks like they are trying to add uh, maybe an extra line or somehow increase uh, the output of model 3s now this is an interesting concept because you know investors and a lot of Wall Street people are saying that oh no Tesla has no demand for this model 3s it's running out and you know there's some maybe there's some truth to that but I think the more people drive this car the more na their neighbors and friends see it in more countries it is available more people would just want to get one so you know I'm going to hold off on the demand thing because let's let's see how the Q3 goes but now there's an interesting news coming out from uh, um, uh, I forgot the name of the magazine, but uh, Digitimes, I believe. So they're reporting that uh, there is a supplier in, uh, in uh, China that is going to double the production of, I believe it's a relay, one of the parts for the car. Um, and, and they're going to start doing it by, I believe, the end of October. Now, what does that mean? Uh, now, first of all, by the way, welcome to E4 Electric. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button uh, so you don't miss anything moving forward. Now, I know it's not my regular setup. Usually it's a studio and there's graphics and there's footage and there's intro that all of you guys love so much. Uh, but I am in Anaheim, California for, for uh, you know, maybe a couple of aftershocks just to shake me up literally. Uh, but also for VidCon, it's one of the biggest uh, YouTuber uh, conferences festivals or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm not really participating in all the craziness to be honest with you. As a matter of fact, I'm still at my hotel as you can see uh, doing these videos for you. I'll, I'll head out there later but I'm here for a couple of days so I hope you enjoy a bit of a change of the scenery here. Uh, but let's get back to the story. So now in the past from what I remember when there were reports of suppliers you know changing the production uh, numbers either going lower or higher we were able to figure out how well the model 3 production was uh, doing so this news actually i would rely heavily on this uh and 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 the fact that the doubling i think from 20 to 40 thousand uh and again this is coming from electric the doubling the the number of parts they're going to be delivering that's actually a big deal now let's put uh, together like let, let's put the whole demand thing uh aside and, and let's talk about, well, can they actually make it? Because where would they make it? They're, they're combining Model S and Model X lines on a, at the Fremont factory, but they're, they're doing it so they can fit the Model Y uh, lines. Now, granted that Model Y and Model 3, uh, they have about, what, 75% of parts uh, that are in common. So maybe all of the lines are going to be doing either Model 3 or Model Y, or most of them are going to be doing them together, and then they will fork off. So, um, would that allow also for the higher production of Model 3s? I, I don't know. Now, they're also saying that they're going to try to produce 3,000 of Model 3s uh, per month uh, by the end of the year, which does look actually, at first it was like, nah. But lately, Tesla has been delivering on their promises, as, as you probably noticed in the last couple of weeks. Um, and this is starting to look actually pretty pretty realistic because we've seen all of those pictures and footages of the, uh, of the uh, Shanghai factory going up and it's really, really quick much faster than even Biden's factory when I when I was uh, reporting on that and that took about what a year which is very fast by the way speaking of Biden it is our sponsor so let me tell you uh, don't forget this there's there's a link in the description of this video and it's magical because you get to reserve your Biden for free I think this is really the only car that you get to reserve for free it's coming at the end of the next year here to the United States and to Europe starting at only forty five thousand dollars that's before the incentives so think about that, especially if you live in Colorado, one of the best states to buy uh, an electric car. Um, but uh, also don't forget, it is about, I don't know, 60 second form. And if you haven't done so, join myself on over 50,000 other people who reserved their Python. So go to the description of this video to do that right now. Okay, so the, the, the question is, uh, will, will, uh, will Tesla be able to actually double the production of the Model 3s and will there be demand? Okay, so let's tackle the first one. Um, it looks like three, four, maybe even 5,000 of Model 3s to be produced at Shanghai factory. I'm starting to believe it. I, I, I say three is pretty realistic. Can they increase it here in the United States? 
I also think that's realistic because remember they said, Elon Musk said that they're aiming about a thousand Model 3s per, um, I think a thousand cars per, um, now, 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 my old man's memory is is is, is really not 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 helping me here. But uh, uh, let's say thousand uh, cars per uh, one day, and they've already reached that. So whatever the goal was, either for all of them for Model Three, I do believe it's for Model Three. They will reach it now, and this is beginning of July. So I can see how there is now room to improve and maybe get that to about ten or eleven thousand a month, right? So, uh, ten to eleven thousand per week. And then another 3,000 a month or maybe 4,000, so it's an extra 1,000 a week at the Shanghai factory. So there we go. I, I say doubling that is not that unrealistic. Now, of course, you remember Panasonic also back in the day, a couple of years ago, ramped up their production of batteries and then, and then nothing really, not much happened. Model 3 took a year to ramp up. Panasonic lost money. They were not happy. And now they're kind of having, you know, a bit of a, uh, issues and Panasonic signed a deal with the Toyota to provide them with batteries while saying they cannot provide batteries for the Model Y if, if Tesla was to start producing that right now. Which brings me to the last point, but probably the most disturbing one. If Panasonic says that they would not be able to supply batteries for the Model Y if they were to start making them right now, how are they going to provide the same pretty much batteries for the Model 3 if that's going to happen in half a year or even a year? Something has to give there because don't forget, Panasonic is not increasing the production. Elon complaining that they're not even at the max com uh, capacity. No one wants to invest money into this. So I don't know. Now, of course, uh, I believe Tesla is going to get a different supplier uh, for their production in China. So that's going to really some of the worries about that but here at the Fremont factory I really don't know where they're gonna get the batteries because that that does seem to, to be a bottleneck so so that's that's now as far as the demand let's just quickly say uh, looks like everybody was complaining about demand in the Q1 turns out everyone was wrong Q2 was perfectly fine uh, looks like people are still buying they're saying they're generating orders now this is where people get a little bit touchy feeling because generating orders also may be model S model X and model Y orders but again I, I just from the just from being part of the community and seeing how much feedback we're getting about these Model 3s, everybody who gets into one is just absolutely loves it, and, and especially because uh, it is an amazing car, and now you can really buy them at $35,000, so that's absolutely amazing. All right, well, let me know what you guys think. Uh, not so much about can they make it, it's more about can they sell it. Do you think they can really sell double of what they're selling right now of Model 3s? I say yes. What do you say? Before that, of course, don't forget to get on our VIP list, which is a weekly bonus story that we send out to you guys for free. You know, just go to e4electric.com slash VIP. So other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.